What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to better handle your images in your Sanity CMS. There's a media plugin that lets you upload and manage your photos. It lets you create and assign tags and it lets you filter by those tags. And then we'll customize that side panel a bit. So I'll show you how to do that too. And also, now that I have this awesome light set up, I'll be filming my intros with a video camera, which means I will be much more nervous and I'll make many more mistakes. So I'll be sure to include some bloopers at the end of my videos. So stay tuned for that. So now that this is a create this and it lets you filter. Also, now that <laughs> so this is the studio project that we started with and it has the minimum blog schema which came from the sanity cli you'll notice there's no media tab up here and there's no clear easy way to access your images or add images you kind of have to go to let's say you're adding an author and you see image here you could select here or upload from here but yeah there's not much of another way to do it and so here we're in our view project we change directory into our studio which is our sanity project i'm going to shut down that development server and so we can add that media plugin with sanity install media thank you for coming to my ted talk Okay, and once that's installed, we can run Sanity Start to start that development server up again. Go to localhost 3333, which we are at. Give this a refresh. And now we see this media tab up here. And click into that. We can see the images that are in our CMS. And we can easily upload assets into our CMS. We can add tags here. We can filter by those tags. We can search. Much nicer. The thing I'm not a fan of is, if you go back to the desk, this is our main view here. Uh, it adds this media tag, which in my opinion has got to go. And this is where you can add tags that you can add to your images and whatnot, but you can also do that right in here. But we'll remove that from the desk view. But first I want to show you how these tags work. So you can create a new one. And let's say you have a tag of author. Because I have a blog and then the author is tech check. But you know they might have a ton of images and you know a few different authors kind of buried in the images so you can select images and it'll say what tags are unused and you can click add tag to selected assets and hit and hit yes to confirm and there you go so we'll deselect this and you can filter by tag so you click author it'll just show all the images that are associated with author so pretty sweet and now to remove this media tag here also if you didn't know you can fold these up Let's say we're creating another tag and yeah that's folded there you can fold it or unfold it but yeah typically you'll have important things over here and you probably don't want to have this media tag over there and just kind of use it in the media tab and so to customize this we'll go back into our project into our studio and we have this sanity.json and then we have this parts array and you can think of parts as kind of a part of a plugin. So it's like a chunk of code that gives you some functionality from part of a plugin. So we'll add another one here. 
and that's going to have a name and it will also be a part from sanity and this will be from the desk tool and the structure it's called the structure builder and then we'll give that a path which we will say at the root and it'll be a file called deskstructure.js and so we're essentially saying we want to use this and instead of from the default path we want to use it from our own path and that way we can customize it and show whatever we want so in the studio in the root of the studio project we'll create this desk structure file because that's where we assign the path here so desk structure.js good save that by the way and now we'll import s which is the structure builder from sanity desk tool and structure builder and then we'll export default an anonymous function and so this structure builder has a list method and this is what creates a list of items so this list of items and I'll have a title which right now we have content so we got the list it's also got a title method and so right now it says content and we can customize that just to see and then there's this items method and that's where we pass these different items and they actually have a convenience method called document type list items and that will bring in all of the default fields that we have already without customizing it so if we save that and we see our change there and our list of items and by the way you may have to restart your development server since you made a change in sanity.json and so now to customize our list we can pass items into an array into this items method and then so we'll want to use the spread operator to bring everything in and then we can use the filter function and that placeholder will say list item and we'll do a console.log list item dot get ID which is another method given to us through sanity and that way we can see the list items and see what we're working with here so I'll save that and we see these are gone so we're just console logging open up our console with option command J and then here we get our console logs from desk structure so that's called media.tag is the ID for that one and then post author category so we want to filter out the media.tag so let's see we we'll filtering iterating over every list item and we want to pass an expression and if that comes back true we'll keep it 
if it comes back false, it'll filter it out. So we want to do basically not equal to media.tag. Includes list item dot get ID. So we're calling the filter method, and for each list item, we are getting the ID and we're seeing if media tag is the ID, but we're checking for items that are not media tag. And if that's true, we keep it, and if it's false, we get rid of the one that is media tag. So we'll save that. And there we go. So now we have this media plugin added and we cleaned up this test tool over here. And now if you go to create a new author, you can select from uploaded images or just go to media. And you can choose from all your images in here. Okay, so fairly quick video, but could be useful. Hope it helped you out. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe. Drop a comment and say what's up. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Check it. Check it. And also... So now that this is a create this blah.